what is going on guys <laughs> you guys already know uh I, this is a new game called all star brawl 2 that's gonna be releasing on october 13th uh my boy staff hooked me up with tester and with this i thought i should do a showcase on all the characters that's gonna be on release we have nine characters that's gonna come on release but potentially a 10th character but it's not in game so i'm not able to showcase that but you guys understand the gist i'm gonna showcase all nine characters that's coming on release in this video and uh, there's going to be two stuff I need to tell you guys about that you guys are going to see uh, when the video starts. But without further ado, make sure you guys go ahead and like and subscribe. And, you know, just stay tuned for the video. I hope you guys enjoy this game. The combat is so smooth. You guys are going to see what I mean uh, later on in the video. But, uh, yeah, sorry for talking fast. You know, it's an introduction. It's been a long time since I streamed slash record. But you understand the gist of it. And let's get into the video. Alright, so once you load into the game, you're gonna you're gonna have like some option choices you guys on the main menu. Uh basically ranked, ETC and all that. Right now I'm in the training mode to record, you know test uh the moves that i think it might be removed when it comes out but uh let's get started with the showcase so we have nine characters that's in the game right now we have batman uh onizuka steven universe senku ryu ravager i don't know I, I, I don't know if i said that right but ravager abyss watcher virgil and obi-wan now we we'll first off with batman you guys already know because you know batman he's the first character he's i'm pretty sure he's gonna be a starter character I think these finals, I think the prices are final. So this is one of the start cases that you guys are gonna have on release Batman. Uh, before we start the showcase for Batman, there's two features you guys should know in this game. Right, uh, so the first move we have E, it's a rush down. You rush to your opponent, uh, it stuns them. You can combo with that too. It's so good using a mid combo and all that. But the thing is, if, you, if they block your rush down, you get punished and they could combo you right back. For example, you see, I'm like, you know, it just kind of stuns me, but like, uh, that's a simple, that's a, like the basic launch of rush down. And then for R, you have a grab move. So it can come in clutch for combos, you can see and all that, you know, just extending. But uh, let's get started with the Batman Showcase. So the first move we have is Batarang Throw. Uh, it hits four times, each five damage. So that's a, a good 20 damage right there. We have Strength Grenade that hits for 10. That's a good combo extender. We have Tackle. That's Tackle right there. And then for Cape Count, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna come to the hitting FEC. It launches you and your opponent to the air, so you your to what you call air combo and extend. But uh, I'm gonna you know show you guys one more time. Battering, stun grenade, tackle, and last but not least, cape counter. Uh, each character has an ultimate. Obviously, I'm trying to get the bar right now. But uh, with the uh, basically everyone in the game has 100 HP, so don't expect the ultimate to be like too busted. But it does a it does a good amount of damage to where it could be considered an ultimate type beat. So with Batman, he has a Batmobile. He gets into it does 100 damage. Batman is probably like gonna be one of the best farming characters that uh, to start off with. He does 100 point. He does 100 damage. Not 100 damage, but like 100 damage, I guess. 100 points for each to farm those points, rack up them points. So that's gonna be good for FFA. You guys know what I mean. But uh, without further ado, let's gonna go ahead and conclude the Batman showcase. All right, moving on to Onizuka. So Onizuka, uh, he, I, I would think of him as a like a street type fighter. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we have Death Throw. It's it's a block break, but uh, let me try and use a non-blocking NPC. Pretty sure this is a non-blocking one. So starting off with the first move for Onizuka, we have Death Throw. Pretty sure that hits for 15. We have Stop Sign, hits two times for 15. We got German Suplex. You know, a little Suplex that does 10 damage. We got the motorcycle, it's like a good mobility move. Not mobility, but like, you know, launches you forward towards your opponent. That could be like a combo ender. But go, uh, again, we have Death Throw, Stop Sign, German suplex, motorcycle. Now for the ultimate, I like the ultimate, how the camera plays the cinematic. You guys can see he drops them down as he's a shoot type fighter. Uh, this is why I consider him a shoot type fighter, but this is ultimate and it's a pretty good uh, ultimate. Uh, but I have left out one key point of his death throw. So once you use death throw, you can press death throw again. Uh, okay, I kind of messed up for some reason. But uh, give, me, just give me one second. But uh, so here we go with Death Throw. You use Death Throw, use it again. You launch up your opponent. You, well, you go down, you know, slam down. 
So once you use uh, number one, which is Death Throw, you can use it again, which does a follow up attack. Let me use it one more time. As you saw right there, it's pretty good, you know, to. Yeah, it, it's pretty good overall. I does like his ultimate, I like his uh, moveset. He is a, another good starter character that you guys can use on release. He also causes zero too, so. That's when I'm gonna conclude the showcase for Onizuka. All right, moving on with our Steven Universe showcase, our third character. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with Steven. You know, he is pretty decent, but he did get gutted because he was madly OD when he, you know, he first dropped, but uh, that's Hex drop right there. We got Bubble Barrage. You gotta press W to move with it to complete the full move. We got Hex Trap. It has some pretty good range to where you, know, you can, you know, follow up with an attack with. We got Shield Throw. So starting from the beginning, Hex Drop. You know, you just push down and drop the hex, follow barrage, hold W, so it does the full move. Two punches to a down slam. We got hex trap, traps them in that box with all your hex. And you got shield throw, that uh, throws your shield and comes right back to you. For the ultimate, the ultimate I do like a lot. It's a little camera cinematic. There we go. One, two, three. That's like five, four or five hits, but it does do mad damage. When I say it does mad damage, it does do mad damage. So it does like 75%, I'm pretty sure. So uh, definitely use this wisely. Uh, Steven is not a bad character. I do like him a lot. And uh, yeah, that's gonna go and complete the Steven Universe showcase. All right, moving on with the next character. We got Ryu Hazuki. I don't know how you say like the last part of the name, but uh, starting off with Ryu Hazuki, we have an elbow counter. So, you know, you just it's a, basically a, a counter. If I could just hit the counter, I'm just gonna see right here. There we go. 15 damage, you counter them. Pretty good, pretty solid. You know, counters could uh, always turn around the game, uh, etc. and all that. Next move, we got Tornado Kick. This character is more of a close range character, so going against a long range character might be a struggle. I'm not gonna lie. Demon Kick. Uh, I don't know what just happened right there. I, I think it was chocolate <laughs> animation, but it missed. Uh, swallow Dive. Here we go, Swallow Dive and Demon Drop again. Just even drop them. Oh my god, that's dirty. So he's, he's, he's more of a wrestler type beat, you know what I'm saying? Uh, tornado kick type beat. I don't know about this character. I feel like, you know, you could, man, I don't know. It just feels like the hitbox is kind of icky. I'm gonna make sure to tell like Sav or something. But the hitbox feels icky. But he is more of a close range character, so I can understand why. But Alright, but that's uh, that's gonna be it for the showcase of uh, Ryu. Let's go ahead and uh, let me show it one more time. That's the counter. Uh, we got Tornado Kick right here. Demon Drop. And Swallow Dive. For the ult, he just loads up like a truck. You got inventory, you got your cursor, and does mad damage. Pretty sure it can one tap. But that's just gonna complete the Ryu showcase, and hopefully you enjoy it. Moving on with the showcase, I went back to watch the previous clips of the past showcases and I just realized I didn't have audio in them. My bad, but I'm not redoing it because uh, after like seven tries doing them, I, I'm just trying to get this done with. But like, uh, moving on, the next character we have a uh, Ravager. Starting off this uh, first move, we have Triton Revolver. You know, it's like a, a forward little dash kick. Next move, we have a uh, Dread Eclipse. Uh, it's an uplift. We got a uh, Tyrant Wave. You know, just launch a. You just launch like a circle thing, it traps them in it, and you know, knock them back. You got Night Fang, you grab them, and you just, you know, I don't know what you did. Did he just buy them? Uh, but going off again, we have Trine Revolver. Dread Eclipse has two moves, so the first one is the uh, uplift, and then you can press two again, you have the little scream. So that's uh, the second move to that, uh, the second set to that move right there. A tyrant wave, and then a nightmare thing. Kick them to the uh, the dread eclipse, and then the second move set right there. So the all, uh, we're gonna have a. So all is very unique for this one. How uh, it does the little cut animation, the little purple screen, and it really, it, it just looks amazing. It really does look amazing. But, uh, that's gonna go ahead and conclude the showcase for Ravenger. I don't know the showcase the next character we got is the Mist Watcher. Now I thought Mist Watchers was low key trash until I fought one of the uh, devel uh, devel de <laughs> the developers is sad and he actually clapped me with uh, Mist Watchers. So to be honest, I thought this is gonna be more of a skill based character. But let's get started with the, uh, the showcase. So first move, uh, this is the basic gun ones. Let me just show you the basic gun ones real quick. You know what I'm saying? 
we have a little different type of ammo right here. So the first move we're gonna have is uh, Dagger Slash. And, uh, so that's Dagger Slash. Second move is Dance of the Abyss. One, two, with a down slam. So that's how the character works. It does a one, two, down slam. So here's Dagger Slash again. And went for Dance of the Abyss. Now I'm pretty sure the alt is bugged, but it should buff like uh, your damages. You guys are gonna see it in a second. So Dance of the Abyss, one, to me try to hit the alt there you go so next move is a this thrust and thrust uh with your sword and hit your opponent i didn't want to miss so you're gonna shoot out the parry parry is supposed to be our counter i would say this hat i would say this is better than the batman's counter and it's dust on your opponent too so you carry you, uh, you pair them they get stun you get counter so imagine that with the rush down combo type beat you know what i'm saying so rush down dagger slide oh wait hold on hold on uh, you know what i'm saying so i best thrust let me show you guys one more time uh, you thrust them for 18 damage so rush down is going to be very useful uh, in a game like this so but i don't see much more of a this is more of a ground character not like an air type character so Hopefully to see someone like a this character because you know, he is actually pretty good. So for the alt, you press five, the circle's on fire. Still same damage. I don't know what's going on with the alt. It could be a bug, but uh, you guys will know you guys play. Uh, the dagger slashes. I mean, death this. I don't, I don't get a buff damage. I don't know that buff damage, but I don't know what the alt does. But yeah. So that's gonna go to complete the showcase for uh, the Abyss Watcher. I'm gonna call him the Abyss Watcher. I know that is his name, but he is fun to play with with his M1s. You could probably like, you know, bait people into doing an infinite one. But that's gonna go to complete the showcase for the Abyss Watcher. Moving on. Now this, this is a special character. This is my favorite character, Virgil. He's a swordsman type beat. Uh, he might be getting nerfed after uh, I clapped with the developer Sav. I kind of, you know, made him rage so he might be getting nerfed but uh you guys are gonna see why in a second we're starting with the showcase okay before i even start the showcase which has a uh, a system you know how uh onizuka has his little death throw and then uh, ravager has his little uh dead eclipse so virgil basically has on uh, his first three uh moves so let me start with the first basic showcase of uh, each character so of each move so we have uh kick barrage you have a little kick barrage Judgment Cut, Stinger, and then Void Slash. Now, going off for the second set, we have a Kick Barrage, so that's the first one. Press one again, we have the second uh, Kick Barrage. But that's not, oh my god, you guys are gonna, uh, just prepare. So, Judgment Cut, here's the first one, and you have a Slash for the second one. Now Stinger, Stinger is the first one. You throw a little slash, here's the uh, second one. And then Void Slash is still pretty the same. Now, uh, probably the best combo for this character is, uh, you know what I'm saying? One, two, three, Stinger. You know what I'm saying? I kind of messed up, but you, you can see how, you, 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 you can see the combo potential of this character, how busted he is. Now for the ultimate, it hits everyone in the circle. You guys are gonna see what I mean. I'm gonna come right here. It's gonna hit everyone in the circle within this ring. Time stops then. We get the little samurai feel with the with the little uh, shooting of the sword. But uh, Virgil is definitely my favorite character. That hopefully they don't nerf too hard. But he is busted, so I do understand they do nerf it. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just need to get this character for life. Alright, but that's gonna showcase, that's gonna complete the showcase for Virgil moving on to the last character. Alright, last character for today. This is probably, uh, this is my second favorite character, I'm not gonna lie. He just, he just, he, I don't know, he just, if you go against uh, Obi-Wan, he's gonna be annoyed to fight unless they nerf him. But the cooldowns for him is very short too, so starting off with the first move. We have ground beneath, you just pick up a rock and throw it at them where your cursor is. It's 20 damage. Uh, we have force pull, you just, uh, the force, may, be, may the force be with you, pulls them towards you. And you can come up and all that. Uh, pierce saber, you throw your saber and it brings them right back to you. So you can see how busted it is with force pull. And then we have lightsaber throw. Uh, oh my god. Lightsaber throw, you throw out your lightsaber. 
So, you know, I would say like a summer combos are. Maybe pull them back in. You know, they're gonna get knocked back, bring them right back in. Just, oh my God, you guys are just, can't wait to see the ABA sweat on this, bro. So for the ultimate, it doesn't matter where you are. You can pull them in. It's gonna spawn a character. It's gonna spawn on an airplane and crash them. You can do anything what, what you want, what, you know, the ragdolls. So. Obi Wan is kind of pretty unique of a Star Wars. I haven't seen a uh, Star Wars type game. Not type game, but like a, you know, something like this, you know, with this pull and all that. So you can see why Obi Wan. Obi Wan is my favorite second character in this game so far. He is pretty fun too, I'm not gonna lie, with the lightsaber. I like how the animation to play and all that. You know, you throw out your pierce, you fight with your M1s, you throw out your lightsaber, you fight with your fist till it comes right back to you. You know, just match it up smoothly. The combat in this game is way too smooth, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it, it's, I don't think this is real, but. Let's go ahead and complete the showcase for uh, all characters that are gonna come out and release for All Star Brawl 2. Rush down. We do some air combos with this too, you know what I'm saying? So let me see what we can do in this game. It's pretty fun to play. Uh, release is on September 13th. And hopefully, to, ho hopefully I see you on the release, you know what I'm saying? I think I might drop this on release or uh, the day before release. But make sure y'all definitely, you know, use this video as what characters you guys wanna buy, start off with. I definitely recommend Virgil, you know what I'm saying? My, the best character in the game. I definitely recommend Virgil. But uh, make sure you join their Discord too, it's gonna be linked below. And I'm going to see you on the next video type B. Physicality.